finally, finally, we have、um, finished the whole cycle. Here's where I thought, oh, I can get home and put my feet up and and walk my favorite streets once more. Things that I had to abandon when I left、um, my hometown. Really, re-entry is the question mark that I put in the beginning of the course. Here's the big reveal. I thought the hard part was over. Here's where. The、um, returnee is taken by surprise. How hard can it be? I'm just going home. I know everything about it. Ah,、uh, ah.、Uh, here's where、um, you have to experience the cross-cultural shock all over again. Only this time, you're back home. Some say reverse culture shock or counter-culture shock can be even harder. Can be even more challenging than when you first leave home. First, I thought, how can this be? You're going home.、Um, how hard can it be to go home? But having experienced re-entry shock myself many times, I realized the key word is in expectation. When I am outside of the culture、um, that I'm born and raised in, of course it's going to be hard. I don't know anything about this new place. It will be difficult. But when traveling back home, the place that you missed so much in the shock stage of cross-cultural adjust adjustment process, this is the one place that was in my dreams. The one place that I know if I get back to, everything will be fine. And when it's not fine, that is when we are just lost. It. That's when we uh, our very、um, ground that we stand on start to shake. Here's where um, the um, the skills that I've learned to cope in a cross-cultural situation in stage two and three are put to test. For example,、um, I studied in Sweden for four years, and <laughs> I did not know how Chinese I was until I went to Sweden. And shockingly, in reverse, I did not know how Swedish I had become after four years of studying in Sweden. Um, when I returned to China, and it's as if I carried a bit of Sweden in me, and the people back home, who's never been to Sweden, who's never been abroad in general, are now encountering.、Um, they are having to experience a mini version of cross-cultural shock simply by meeting the Swedish part in me, and I also had to encounter、um, the Chinese culture in a whole new way.、Um, And oh, it's it can be really messy, and it can be. I really can tell you.、Um, even today, having had、um, re-entry ex experiences countless times, there is a part of me that can never go back. There's a part of me that I will not say is completely culturally, I,、um, typically Chinese. Any friends and family who know me intimately will know. Yeah, Jing is Chinese, but she's not very Chinese. <laughs> Sometimes, so that's a that's a part I had to reconcile, and that's a part where people back home had to reconcile with me, and it's a make or break on both sides. It can be the positive part of it is that it can be a deepening of the、um, previous experiences abroad,、um, and yet if it didn't work out, it can be disintegrating, it can be disappointing, it can sort of、um, throw everything. To to the deep end again. Reflection. Say we made it. Say finally we went through the mess once again. Say I worked through the differences with my、um, old friends and family back home. Explain why am I different now, and they learn to accept that. Whew, how would、uh, you describe being cross-cultural、uh, to someone who's never been abroad before? Say you have a close friend who say who is going to travel abroad. What advice would you give to this person? With all the experiences you've had up until this point, but what if you couldn't cope with being home again? Imagine how would that feel? What would be in your mind?、Um, what thoughts would you have? And how would you summarize being cross-cultural、um, in this in this scenario?